Good morning, everybody. We're at the Indiana State Fair, and we've been having fun the last several days here at the fair. I've just had a very emotional experience walking through these towers. With me is Nola Fritz, and who, those who haven't been at the fair or heard about this on TV already, what have I been walking through? What have I been looking at? This is a pictorial memorial for those that we've lost since the global war on terror. So this, these young men and women volunteered to go into the military September 1st, 2011, or after that date. So what you see behind us are pictures of the fallen heroes, both men and women. We have 110 women. Really? Yeah. 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 And, and so you'll see them, and, and we have one picture of them in their military uniform, kind of showing the professionalism. Right. And then we have one picture of them, the inset picture of them loving life or family or or you know, what they love to do. That's Their such a wonderful touch because, you know, seeing a name on a wall, as emotional as that is, like the Vietnam Wall, to see that picture and see how young so many were, but some go up to what age? The oldest that we have is a Monsignor who is serving as a chaplain, and he's 69. Wow. Tell me about your son. My son, First Lieutenant Jacob Fritz, was executed while in POW status January 20th of 2007 outside of Karbala. Mm -hmm. um, Shiite militia, uh, Doc Duke, who's Hezbollah, and Case Kazali, Iranian. Mm -hmm. um, it was Iran that was coming in after my son and three other soldiers, and their goal was to torture and execute them. So your son is one of how many on the wall now? There are approximately, we have a little bit over 5,200 on here now. And more to come. Right. That's about 70% of the fallen. We also have a tower that's dedicated to those that we've lost in training missions who were preparing to go to war. This is incredible. There's so much more we could talk about, but people have to come here to the fair and come to the national tour remembering our fallen. Thank you so much. Thank we you. Appreciate it. Thank I got to got to wrap up really quickly with Buzz here. Buzz, you're involved with the Indiana Fallen, right? Yes, I am. I'm the veteran resource navigator, mm -hmm. Easter Seals Crossroads, and we have in Indiana remembering our fallen that I manage, and we take it throughout the state. And they can call you for more information at yes, Easter Seals. EasterSealsCrossroads.org. Okay, back to the studio. This is an incredible and emotional experience. You have to come by. Back to the studio. Yeah. I can imagine, Dick. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Uh huh.